coming in for tackle three. Into open pastures again. They've got numbers. They've taken off over halfway. I think you'll find it's the end zone. Yeah, now he's chasing across the field. Sorry, Billy, I'll come back to you. This looks like dry time. For St. Gregory's back inside. Six more tackles. Showing the defence. Chapman did well. Played his part. Then back inside. And Sears said, thank you. He got a great ball away. Sanderson's got support. Sears will score. Sears is linking up on the outside. It could be the opening tie of the cup final. It is, as he did in the semi-final, Michael Sears. Draws the fullback, Haitley, perfectly. Look at Sears looming on the outside. That is a superb start for the... Uh, ...and giving it away for the big uh, Andrew McElwain. Five. 22 points to six. Now Sears, that's a terrific run. And late of the pass, Bola. The kick was on, Sears now. Sears, he can motor. Whoa, desperate angle tap. <laughs> St. Greg's. Sears, a great ball inside for Dresco. Play. Matthew Sears, away from one. Stands in the tackle, waiting. Pull back, will he? No. Right this fence. is Clint, they've got the numbers, a good ball out wide. And they Run around with Sears, he gets it back. Deary, Deary, 32, over 22, get... Townsend, Capel, driven! Just outside the rack and offloading as he pleases. Deary with plenty of room and plenty of... Field. ...the kick went up and it was an uncontested one for Peter Holmes. As Deary... Most successful schoolboys coach in the history of the Commonwealth Bank Cup as Deary makes another run. Now the first try was scored against them. Big tackle there from John Deary. You know, kick from Freer, driving it down for Deary to pick up only three or four metres out from his own line. Good defence there to meet him, but he beats Moylan. And he's and around. And them. Over 30. He comes back inside. Meets the traffic. Continues to duck. Deary turns around now and crosses the 20. He beats the first. The fence is good. Superb towards the commentary side of the Sydney Football Stadium. Now picked up by Deary. Also a decathlete. Rap and again, point scored. Great take from John Deary. We've already spoken about it, especially in this game, I guess. For what Matches back. Deary with the football. Tries to split the defence. He unloads a label as keep the ball alive. The fullback Deary steps out of the tackle. They won't stop him from there. Try for Deary. under 16 rep last year now they use the center three quarter Ravel now it's Blythe the pass here finds the center Blake Ravel he got away from one G showing some strength then links up with a half Peckham the pass there G shows some strength doesn't he Blake Ravel in the three now it's Peckham sent a lovely ball away to Ravel he's going to take some stopping because he's the fullback that's Shembury swung to ground they're looking a bit tired at the moment. As I say that, a big hit for the centre, Blake Rebell. Beats the tackle of Glenn Cummins. Staff, even when they were um, under a bit of pressure in that, that first 10 or 15 minutes, as you can see, a great break made here by Horan. Horan down the touchline. He keeps his composure and... Quick hands out for Davin. Davin out to Horan to step his way down the sideline and step well from Corza. How did he stay? Well, he didn't. To play. Now they turn it on. Oh, good football. This is Horan. Horan, the captain, dummies once, comes away from them. That's all class. All class. Come out, St. Gregory's looking all the sun in the world as Horan comes back inside. Woods, Rigo. The defence was up. Intercept. Intercept. 
They're chasing. Forget it. Forget it. You can sit back and watch this one. That's a terrific run by Horn. This is the class of this young fellow. Sears is linking up on the outside. It could be the opening tie of the cup final. It is. Glenn Grief. Casey looking for the long ball. This has shut the gate. You can sit back and watch this one. Tiberian, Hateley giving chase. Oh, can he get in? This will be a great effort. What a tackle. Well, it all began back in February. 400 schools set out for this back. You really have to stand back. up today. This is Morgan making his second, although the fullback got away from him. And so Evans, didn't he run a good line? He's a class player. He's begun again in this first stanza. They've, they've got to be within striking distance, and, and 16 still a big margin. Richardson again. Paul on the outside. Evans inside the 10 metre line. Away for the fullback. Another. Up opposition, Richardson. The last tackle, Evans, great ball to Richardson. Room for Richardson, inside. Play. Throws it inside for Gonzo. In fact, that isn't Gonzo, it's Richardson. Gonzo, nice passing of the football. Richardson skirting now. He steps inside one, he beats another. With the hands of Swadley. What can Dylan Fredgen works? Now for Thompson, open pastures this time for Richardson. His play on from dummy half goes Richardson. Good yeah. Over the top of Slater. Two missed tackles and some opposition. Richardson again break around the, the ruck area. That's where they've dominated. The first time that we saw Trent Barrett in action, a schoolboy rugby league star for St. Gregory's College of Campbelltown. Of course, he's gone on to be a star of the NRL, firstly with the Steelers and now with the Dragons. State of origin player in 1997. He certainly was a schoolboy talent. Five in the St. Gregory side that year included Trent Barrett. The first time we'd seen him in a television game, a boarder from Tamura at the college who was playing junior representative football with the Illawarra Steelers. The next year, he made his first grade debut for the Steelers as an 18-year-old. In 1997, he went on to play State of Origin. He played in a grand final with the St. George Illawarra side in 99. Made his Australian debut in the year 2000. A try scorer in the World Cup final that year. And along the way, has been a Dalian Player of the Year. He's achieved a lot in his career. He's got a lot to look forward to. But it all started here, playing schoolboy footy with St. Gregory's College of Campbelltown. The year was 1995. Boyd, Flint, run around with Sears. He gets it back. Dear numbers. Flint in open pastures. Paul Morton wanted to see him run. Well, now he will. They won't catch Sears. A hit of a forward pass. But Sears, he can really motor. Schoolboy rugby league's greatest rivalry. Open pastures this time for Flint. He steps off the left. There's blue and blue jerseys everywhere. He still stands in Bramley, his front row partner. Chris Flint carves them up. Then off the left, underneath the post. Oh, they're having to field that. A oh, great ball. Flint over 30 in the 20. A clear passage to the line. One with lot feeding. Finds Flint straight through. This is his third try. Up comes the hat trick. He goes over 10. He gets away from the last desperate tack. Looks blind. Finds Chrissy Flint. Magic ball. Superb footing. Freddie Fittler step. Over 30 and 20. Flint giving chase. Oh, magnificent tackle. Flint busts them. An inside ball from Holmes for Flint. He carves it again and crosses the 30. He crosses the 20 and gives it away now. Arthur. And it was Hodges, I believe. They continue the blind side for the corner. It all looks so well orchestrated. Flint just jumping out of tackles, weaving and dodging and splitting them. It takes his opposite to put him down.
It's going to have to perform here today. Yeah, well, now, there are one or two players from their side that aren't playing today. They don't look as crisp at the fullback, but it'll also have the defence in two minds about coming up as quick next time. Here he is, hitting it again for... Hammering away until you miss a tackle. Here he is, Francis. Eight. So now, St Gregory's back on the attack. Benil showing all the flair. But still going, this man. Now they take it away from Lepapuga. His first touch in the cup final. Possession, and this is Wilson. Wilson makes the advice. All the things that we love about rugby league, the ball movement, the backing up, the support play, everything you want to see is being displayed here. Now, ball driven deep inside the St. Gregory's in goal area. And now the long truck bat, and this is Francis taking them on. And my... uh, he can't push off. I've seen him in some games where he's been electrified. And it picked up. And, and the more ball they get, the better for Yanko. Through Wilson to the 30 round. Cattle. He's been causing trouble on Greg's line. Wilson hits it up. Francis. About four tackles ago, he, he went uh, around the shoulder area. Reeves for Rolf. Tries to spin out of it. This is Neeson on. Took the place of Robson. Oh, head clash, I thought. No, he's Gregory's. From this year, he looks at an energy type. This is good yards. Good yards up the goal. This is Driscoll. Running from dummy half is Nicholson. And this side, of course, is coached by Trevor Howard and looks hell. And the more ball they get, the better for Yanko. This is Metcalf. This is Nicholson. He got a ball away, I believe. Run around with Flint and an inside ball this time for Driscoll. Two. Flint, a face ball, a cutout ball for Driscoll. Their fifth player. Driscoll. Dead set look alike for the man we were just talking about, Reha. Flint for Driscoll. Nice ball. St. Greg's. Sears, a great ball inside for Driscoll. Oh, he used the shoulder and Wilson. Yanko College 6, second quarter final. Making good yards is Metka. Taylor. Sears, Driscoll, Miha, Metcalf, 10, there's the score, 16-6 as we go inside the last, and a couple of minutes. Evans got forwards in the game with those capabilities. Evans taking them on. And this time St Gregory's running from right to left in the second half if you've just joined us. Oh, well, look at the yards. He's busted them up. The That's a ball on the outside. Evans inside the 10 metre line. Away. Right, yes, you can't give. Oh, he's good play on the blind side on the last tackle. Evans, great ball to Richardson. Root. This blind side again. They run some angles. Evans up the Evans middle. middle. Evans in the middle. Evans Greg's in front on the nine network. Evans splits them, heads over 30. He's got support. He dummies and goes himself. Eggs called upon to do some heavy work. Right attack again. Flint, good ball to Evans. He's away. Evans. He's up. His troops have really put their, his, their bodies on the line today. Evans brings it back because John Gregory's. Evans lurking wide and coming back to the middle, busting through defenders. Now they swap it and come back through. Evans has split them. Open pastures, full back in all sorts of trouble. He Better position, Flint. That was the missed tackle. And Evans, see the way he veers back to go back towards where the support player is. Bite against the 444 teams we started with. They all had talent. Kick in here from five minutes inside his own half. They're running into the breeze in this second half, so that's a terrific kick. At the top of our show today. Score lines from those matches 18 16 going way back to the days of Jack Gibson. Didn't yeah. matter in the end. Black tag. Left side, the blind with Howell. Back inside it comes for Cochran. Point of the day. 17 year old Black Gregory's. Butcher was looming up in support. It was knocked down. That's play on. That's a try for Michael Howell. 12 points to nil over Erendale. And their captain, one of their try scorers today, Michael Howell, with another. His work has been sharp. Big run from Scanlon. For sure. This is one of the local students at St. Greg's as they come down the left with Howell. A ball. Here we see Howell did so well. 
as he's coming down this left sideline, comes up. Now Butcher, up to the left with Howell, running hard and running up for Danaher. Nothing too daring in the first three tackles. Number eight who made the tackle, Martin Kelly's been good today. Howell slips it out the banning. Howell is there on halfway and got the right arm free. They're looking for the killer. A wind out of the sails. Martin Kelly. Greg Keary, the captain in there, a dummy half. Good hit coming in there from Daniel Heckenberg. Getting quick play the balls away. Now it's the Australian schoolboys vice captain Heckenberg. St. Gregory's, Nathan Johnson. It's been a very good game. Got a pass there to Heckenberg again. Robinson was cut out there. Hamilton, Peckham, Grubber, flying through Heckenberg. He's going to get there, yes! How quick is he? Well, Daniel Heckenberg. Uh, St. Gregory's boys to put a, an early try on. Sutton then coming back to the middle into the traffic. This is Roger Wills. Cattles busted them. He's got away from one and two. Well, death. Courtesy of the boot of the 5'8 and captain for Yanko, Sean Townsend. And it could be worrying. This is the winger, Booth, bringing it to the middle of light. Sears, Mears, steps off the right and comes back to the traffic. Mears jinx off the left, comes off the right, still going, standing and to this lead before half time. Mears, Australian schoolboy to the 10 metre line. Lloyd for Sears. Inside ball back for Lloyd. Pops it away for Mears, that's a try. Robert Mears, and here it is again, Paul, for the Commonwealth Bank. Just put the head down, missed tackle there. Up, and in fact, oh, Mears has got himself. There was an interval there. Lloyd now for Mears and back to the center he goes. This workhorse bounces out of one and out of two and eventually Wilson comes. But uh, great defense by Bonetti too. Comments. Another try would put them back in the game. It's a matter of them getting some possession though. Another good run there by Mears. Chapman again. Chapman puts his foot down and grabs a try himself. 60 meters and with a kick, I'm, I'm sure that's going to make it a long, long way to the try line for the St. John, the John Flats. While they're not finished with on this six yet, Wally, Chapman stepping beautifully. He's gotten in Giga outside. He'll have a ran. A short ball for Chapman. Chapman still going. Referee Filmer says play on. Puts his head back. Makes it to the strike from Agnew. G. He's got a good strike on him. The run around with Chapman. Here's a play, a set play for Sanderson. Good play, St. Gregory's now. And this is around, danger time coming up. Chapman still going, another try. Another try for the 5'8", Damian Chapman. And uh, this is Champagne Schoolboy Rugby League. Chapman got inside Hately, and then he improved the position. And all smiles St. Gregory's at the moment. For a few seconds as Tony Kelly tried to get the sides back there forward. Hately was driven by Chapman. Chapman. Dummy half, Chapman's calling it for the left hand side. Puts the kick over the top, he's got the chase. Great try as he got it down. That is superb individual skill. Gregory's now, they've got Fairfield at six and seven. Chapman! Oh, Chapman has done it again! Sykes got the pass away for Chapman. He's got a great skills into open space. Pull back to beat a supportive bowler. Marvellous moment for Tim Hoare and the captain. And what a game the fellow on the right had, Chapman. Fantastic performance by St. Gregory's. They hit the court offside and a quick tap, tap taking now. Haig again. Grubber oh. kick now. Here we go, Blocker. Yeah. What about that yeah. shoulder from Bandy? Yeah. A little grubber kick. They've got to mix their kicking game up a little bit. He got absolutely pole accent. He wants the, the offload. He gets that too. Peckham. Bandy. Weighs up the options. Goes himself straight through. And what a vital try this is for St. Gregory's on the stroke of half. That's Roddy. Beautifully put through. There's a lock forward out there on the fringe, making the extra man. They continue going right. That's Bandy. Got the beautiful pass over the top. They keep it alive, St. Gregory's. Out it comes to Bandy, leading the side. Well, flick pass. Let the 5 8 Robinson. His He's up the field of the ruck here, is it? Another good search. Yeah, that was better defensive. Gramley working yards. Two schools with mighty traditions. Greg's of one. Nicely for St. Gregory's. Oh, great ball. 
work was done here from Bramley, wasn't it? It was a great pass. He drew brought their troops. Taking it forward very strongly. Bramley got it. Received $5,000 from Phillips in the way of electric. They go to the second man. Bramley. And rightly so, the semi-final. They've beaten a lot of sides to get here. Taking it forward, Bramley. Look at Tower out of here. Bramley sticks out the arm and then looks to offload and holds it on the board. There's a chance here down the left. Away they go, it's Gonzo. Gonzo, the far touch line. As and they've won three against the feed today. Movies go wide on that occasion. Both their centres are on the right side of the field, but they've kept... Hogg takes it forward. They continue. Gonzo looking for the line, swiveling from tackles. The fullback, Strudwick takes it well. Taken in the end goal. Gonzo goes from dummy half, brushes off to Morankovic, falls off a tackle. 15. Broke Fairfield Spirit as Gonzo finds open spaces. He's got support on the outside. They can't catch him. He won't need them, will he? Gets up and goes it down the far touch line. Chrissy Flint, magic ball, superb football. Athletes. And there's a good pass to the 5 8. That's Gonzo through. Gonzo's got plenty of toe. He crosses over the 20. Across in cover. Drags him in the. Yanko trying to pin down St Gregory's and Trevor Howard that they've had all the possession, all the running of the play, but haven't put points on the board yet. Ups in the opening stages. Lock forward, put on the first try. Up. Again, they work the fringe of the rucks for a steeny. Oh, strong shot. I believe if they don't win in 93, he will go out. Seven. Astini has shown courage. We get a good kick away. Some strong defence here from St Gregory's. That's what they are now. One off the ruck, they travel for their captain Astini. A one to the task. Astini, the captain. David only goes for the cross. Tremendous. Um, he's, he's just moved all over the track. He seems to have class written all over him. And their second rower and captain Chris Kelly. Anderson to take it. He works to the far side of the football field. He comes back and gets away from them. Still going. Strike on him. The run around with Chapman. Here's a play. A set play for Sanderson. Good play. St Gregory's now. Really turning it on. Really turning it on in the second. Nicely for Sanderson. Wearing the blue headgear. Now he comes back towards the centre of the field. Straightens the attack. He's gone straight through them. Sanderson back inside. And taken beautifully by Sanderson. Now Sanderson working back to the middle, gets away from one and still going, but Glenn Grief again, the captain. Our left position has really thrown the football around. No more. Running freely. Into Missed it. Low, low. The bounce and it was real danger signs. Just a little cut by who played it, coming in off the bench. Can from Tapia for Royston. Proud of this performance for his son today. They're 20. Their own 20 again. They come up to the right side. Play a very physical game. Inside Erendale's half. And up with Fitzpatrick. Bag shows his dummy half skills. Brett Fitzpatrick. Every time he's hit the ball today, it's good. Well, they have time. And Willie Scanlon. And Brett Fitzpatrick. Again, I can only say it. He does all. Woodbridge. So St. Greg's perhaps a 19th pack. Up to the right, Fitzpatrick. And Vagans of Office and Greg's Butcher. Still plenty of run. That's great. That mistake you find you haven't got any meters and therefore you can't get a good kick. Well, here Here's the mistake. Cross. Cross will dive over in the corners. Yeah, he might have been kept in. <laughs> Cross. The most dangerous of the St. Greg's players. Cross. The defense had moved up too quickly on the outside. Left a hole for him. That'll stay there. Kane crosses back. He'll try and get out. He does it well. So plenty of skills from him has collapsed. But it comes out for St. Gregory's. Cross on the blind side. Gets there. As the siren sounds in the background. Kane Cross now runs the football back towards the Fairfield attack and still going. He's working a short blind side. Oh, good hit. Second semi-final. And it was... That was good work from how to get... Tackle. That gives them a little platform to work with. Mullins kick back for the corner. Here is St. Gregory's with a first time. 
They come down the right side, Matt Primmer, 30 metres away, gets a very early kick in, not fielded there by Berryman, and now Primmer will chase through, and Primmer's going to score. Well, I'll tell you what, there's a little... It's the winner of this match to play the Queensland champions in the semis and some great... Field. Kerr's missed him, it comes the way of Primmer, trying to stand up his man, he's done that! Primmer gets over, ran straight round over Peters, and Matt... Half for the captain. St Greg's, I was going to suggest, will count down the clock, but not in the minds of Matt Primmer. 25, fired out pass there for Hessian, and now Primmer gets his chance. Five minutes away from the line, the inside ball, that will win it for them. And he's away from Turton. Up to halfway goes Primmer and over. Now 30 metres away from the line. Well, it all began back in February. 400 schools set out for this magnificent cup, the Commonwealth Bank Cup, the symbol of supremacy of schoolboy football in Australia. And for the third year in a row, the uh, Campbelltown side have won at a marvellous moment for Tim Hoare and the captain. And what a game the fellow on the right had, Chapman. Fantastic performance by St Gregory Campbelltown. St Gregory side from Campbelltown. They've done a great job out there. A big win for them, 27 points to six over Wavell State High. A tremendous performance. They did prove themselves to be the premier side in schoolboy football this year. Peter Mulholland, what a way for him to go into Winfield Cup coaching, joining the Western Reds in a couple of seasons. And he's done a great job with the players out there. Their reputation continues as we leave you from the Sydney Football Stadium. They're the victors. We'll be back shortly. And now the celebration start for St Greg's. They have won more cups than any other school in the 26-year history of the competition. They claim their ninth title in ten finals appearances, and that is some record will break and come back with a presentation here at the Sydney Football Stadium. Real party mode for the students and the players of St Gregory's College of Campbellton. There's the presentation, nice touch to the awarding of the Peter Sterling medal to Riley Mullins, a boy who hails from Wagga. And of course, Peter did a lot of his schooling down in Wagga, just a great area for sport. So St Gregory's College of Campbelltown winning the Nutrigrain Cup.